Hello everybody and welcome to my playthrough of Tai Aora Survival. This is a new game on Steam, it's a demo at the moment and it's opened up for everybody so just wanted to try it, play it out, see how it is and see if it's any good pretty much. Um, so we've loaded into a game, just started, so we need to go find a weapon. This, according to Steam, this is a open world survival game, survival crafting game, but we'll go have a look at it. Alright, so we're going to find a weapon, so open, take, take all, you can gather wood by cutting down trees, you can gather stone, iron or sulfur by breaking rocks. Okay. So we have four for the axe. But didn't we pick up a pickaxe as well? Ah, oh, so we have to switch between them. Okay. Gather 30 log. Alright, so where do we... Oh, we go out this way. We holster our weapon. Oh, wait, that's eight. Alright, we can zoom in and out with a mouse wheel. Usual survival mechanics, we just chop. Uh, interesting, it goes straight into our inventory. So we have 9 of 30 so far. Looks like you get nine out of nine per tree. Sees a dodge. Mission complete. XP a hundred and a hundred cash. Build a workshop. Okay, so we're gonna go back here. So numlock is auto run. Okay. Looks like our stamina bar down the bottom. The yellow one down the bottom there. Got a little compound here. Alright, so how do we build? Build a workshop. Manage. Advanced craftsman. Build. Workshop. Level 1. You can craft various items in the craft menu. So we go over here, workbench. So we got wood plank, which two logs go to one plank, and we can make cloth, which leaves go to cloth. Bow. We can actually make a bow, I think. We'll make a bow. That was part of our mission anyway. Hunted deer. Survivors can gain experience and level up. Upon leveling up, the survivor gets a skill point and character point. You can level up your skills and attributes at the skills menu. Okay, so what about arrows? Oh. So we got 26 arrows, so we need to hunt a deer. Is there any indication of where a deer is? Or do we have to find one? Oh, never even looked at the map. Okay, so we are here. Looks like there's some markers on the map. All question marks. Looks like there's a vehicle over here. So maybe if we head this way, follow the road, follow this path out. Don't know if there's a first person in this or not. I'm assuming that we can harvest this. Iron ore. Oh, 
I want to put the axe back there in case there's a melee weapon. Loot. Oh, 9 mil ammo. Money. Empty water bottle. Take all. It's cool that we can collect the arrows. Oops. I'm not sure if I like the camera angles. I, I don't know. Might be easier just to attack melee. We not loot him? Oh, we got a little town here. All right. So, hunted deer. Where's a deer? Useful scrap. <laughs> like in any game, my hoarding comes in. Where I just take everything. So you mustn't be able to loot all the zombies. Oh, this still- oh. Wait, she's got more arrows in it? No. Interesting art style, I'll say that. Get in that wall. Can't get in there? Alright. Also, we found ammo. We just need to find a gun. Juice. Wallet. Open. You can repair vehicles by pressing F when you stand in front of the vehicle. You can refuel the vehicle by looking at the fuel tank and pressing F. You can modify vehicles you build in the garage facility. No need to repair. Huh. Now, how do we get out of here? We go this way. Okay, they're not, um, they're not deers, that's for sure. What's our base? Back this way.
Oh, so they're over here. Okay. So they must be... These must be all shop slots. Yeah. If ransom is any indication, then... You know how poor I am with these. Oh, goodness. Got it. There we go. Go get my arrows back. Character skill points. Press K to skill point. Okay. Alright, so... Increase total health. Agility increases sprint speed. Increase intelligence. It increases the efficiency of trading and crafting. Increase resistance to, of hunger, thirst, and tiredness. Well, durability, strength, and we'll go agility. 30% melee damage. 30% swap speed. 20 health. 20 hunger resistance. 20 stealth. Too bad I don't know how to stealth properly. Where health? Oh, I can bandage efficiency, damage resistance. Cool. Craft a campfire. Inventory full. Um, alright, so how do we craft? You. Campfire. So we can make a small backpack. Do we already have one, maybe? No, we don't. Okay, so we might craft a small backpack first. Then we craft a campfire. You can place items... Some items like campfires, simple beds, etc. You can right click in a placeable item and choose place. This opens the placement mode. You can rotate the object with Q and E, cancel the placement, right mouse button, or an object with the left mouse button. Okay. Oh, that gives us, that gives us a bit more space. So place. We'll put that. We put it in here. I think we'll put it here. Fuel for the fire. So we got coal. So then do we go... Nope. Craft 10 wood planks. Ah. Oh, I should have used all my wood. No. Oh. Oh, 
we'll gather enough of those. Alright, now we head back. Oh, the sun's starting to... Well, it's very bright. I don't know if it's starting to set, but it's very bright. Alright, so it wanted us to craft 10 of these. Craft. Okay, crafting is instantaneous. That's kind of interesting. Build a water collector. Okay. Each survivor has hunger, thirst, and tiredness. Hunger and thirst can be satisfied with consuming food or drink from your inventory. Survivors that are not controlled by the player can use food from food depots at the base. Oh, so you can get NPC ones. Survivors can rest at beds to remove tiredness. So, how do I... You? No. Build a water collector. Oh, you gotta like, that's weird, you gotta highlight on it. 50 water stock capacity, 3 water produced per hour. But it got dark all of a sudden. Go to town and find some scrap metal. I think what I will do... We not have any cloth. We need cloth. All right. So, can I make a torch? All right. We're gonna take the car. Ah, oh, good. It's got lights. Build a kitchen. What? All we had to do is come here. Okay, that seems kind of... Uh, probably because I came here before and got some stuff. There's a backpack. All right. Is there a crouch button? Oh, there is. I know it's a bit hard for you guys to see, so I'm going to go back to town and do what I need to do. I keep pressing the wrong button.
cut this one and then I'll check how many wood, how much wood I've got. 37, that should be more than enough. Oh, I have a flashlight, but it's very small. Okay. So we're gonna go workbench. Always handy to have extra, that's for sure. Oh, we need... We're too short. Okay. I would have thought we had enough. But obviously not. So once we make these planks, we should be good. Cool. So now... Build. Kitchen level one. Okay, so it looks like you, um... Build up your town... With different things. So, like, if I go in here... Cook. So this allows me to cook apple tea. Cool. And the rain collector one. Ah, that's how you manage the inventory. All right. Fifty water capacity, three rain, three water per hour. Alright, so you put the water bottle in there. Withdraw. Huh? So where does that go to now? Build a dorm. Did that just take my, um... Posit withdraw. Make some iron ingots. We'll make one iron plate. Oops. Cloth. So what are we short on now? We're short on planks. Alright, we'll go get some more planks. Or more wood anyway. So it seems like you're going to have to gather a lot of resources in this game, so... Which is fine, like, you know, it's a survival game. Ok, 
get a plank. I mean, a trunk. It's pretty much... You know, it's got all the survival mechanics of every other survival game. I do think this should take time, though. Like, if you're doing... If you're making these, it should take time. Not be instantaneous, like all four instantaneous like that. I guess that might be for the demo, though. Sleep, dorm, sleep quality, production capacity. Dorm level one. Mission complete. Increase camp population to two. Question is, can we sleep though? We can. Cool. Alright, so... Let's save that. So we gotta head that way. Um, I kind of want to go get the vehicle over here. Oh, it put. Okay, so it put the water back in. Um, back in my inventory, which is good when I was collecting it. I was like, where did it go? I didn't see it in the um, inventory tab, but I put it here. Gather some resources along the way. Got some skills. And... I hate that you have to do this. I wish there was like a... <clears throat> one thing that would improve this game, if you had a set like this one, and then you had a secondary slot under it where you could put your hatchet, or your pickaxe, sorry. So you have axe, pickaxe, and you just press a button that rotates between them. So rather than... Rather than having to press tab, switch over, press tab to go back, You could just do, um, you do that and it makes it a whole lot easier. All right, so. Can I interact with that? Nope. There's a car. Just came here for the car. All right, off to go to get another person for the camp. Switch over to this first. Grab this. You can invite people to join your base. After joining your base, you can assign them to work on various tasks such as gathering wood, crafting medical supplies, etc. There's a limit to how many people you can have in your base, but it can be increased by building or leveling up a dorm. Building the dorm also increases your fellow's survival morale. 
You can see your base population on the top left when you're in the base. Oh, okay. So you got this guy. This guy. This guy. Invite to camp. Yes. Miner, hunter, light eater, light drinker. Yes. Build a medical center. Thirsty, gourmand, master chef, medical expert. No. We probably should have looked at this before inviting him. Invite to camp. Miner, hunter. Uh, so he's a miner and hunter as well. So we need more planks and scrap. Is there any scrap here, actually? Can we sell anything to them? I want to buy something. They don't have a sell option? Alright. It's upstairs. Nothing. get in that door for some reason. See if there's any scrap here. Yes. Oh, we got pants. Nice. Wish that is there a first person, I wonder. Unequip is X. Nah, it looks like it's potentially just third person. Going down the highway. Can I remove that marker? Yeah, I can. Cool. Whoops. Oh, cool. He's back. He's in our town. Now, how do I... Show me what you got. Switch control? Oh, interesting. Hang on. Show me what you got. So if I give him the backpack. If I was to do this and go talk, switch control. Ah, interesting. That's kind of cool. Um, now, can we make... Uh, 
Wait, I need to craft first. So where's my... Oh, over here. So I wonder if we can make him an axe, if he can go out and get stuff for us. Because if so, then that's a game changer. At least my aim wasn't too bad that time. Hmm. Consume. Take all. Let's build this medical center. Build medical center, level one. So I can go back to that town and then get that guy to um be the medical dude here. Build a garage. I don't think we're going to do that this episode. I think what we're going to do is finish up in a minute. Um, open. Can we make anything... We just need wood. We'll go get some wood. We'll equip our um, other guy with that. So he's at least got something to go and use. Yes, I'm driving because I'm too lazy. Is our guy? Here it is. So first aid kit, we use bandage to make a first aid kit. Where'd our guy go? We're not going to do that just yet. Did I just miss him? There he is. So if I make a stone pickaxe, inventory is full. Stone pickaxe craft. Now we give this to him. Show me what you got. Then we switch control. So does he then go and I wonder if we leave him if he actually goes out and gets stuff. Or if we can issue commands or... J. Build a garage. Can issue... That's storm. We can't issue commands from there. It's our depot. Medical center.
What is this place? Current job. Oh, we can... Okay, okay, we can do this. Setting to go mine. And so far... Alright, so... To get him to go over here, you can get him to hunt and mine. So essentially, you can give people jobs to do when you're not using them. So at the moment, we are this guy. This is the guy that we bought in. We need to build a garage. We can also manage all our buildings here. Cool. So at the moment, we've got him set to go mine. So now he should be off mining somewhere. We're going to rest. And yeah, he, he'll be mining. There he is. What has he got? Stone pickaxe. Oh, it crafted it, but didn't, um... It crafted it, but it didn't hand it over, because our inventory was full. That makes sense. So I wonder if there's another way I can get to this panel. So we got him set to mining at the moment. More info. Alright, so he's going to mine. So anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this. It was our first look at Tayora. Uh, Tayora? Tayora? Survival? Um, if you guys want me to do a second episode, let me know. We can continue building on the base. Just leave a note in the comments. And yeah, let me know. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.